Hi everyone. West has opened one club and North has doubled. That cross is a double and that shows 12 or more points and support for the unbid suits. So at least three cards in the unbid suits, spades, hearts and diamonds, probably short in the club suit. Now I have to bid, I'm responding to this double here, so I have to do something and I've got to decide what I'm going to do. I've got uh, 13 points, four card diamond suit. What will you do with that hand? Okay, before I show you what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you another hand with the same auction. Okay, so you can see again, West has bid one club and North has doubled, but this time I've changed my hand to about the worst hand you'll ever get. Zero points, highest card is a five. Now I made this hand up. But the point here is that I have to bid. I can't pass because if I do, then West is also going to pass and the final contract is going to be one club doubled. And West is going to get surely make that contract and get a whole lot of extra points because the contract has been doubled. So I can't pass. I've got a bid here and I'm going to simply bid my four card diamond suit, one diamond. I'm not showing a good hand because North made me bid. Now, North might not even bid again because North knows that I could have a very weak hand. So I'm just going to bid one diamond. But here we are in one diamond, and that's fine. North didn't bid again because he knew I might have a very weak hand. Okay, back to our real hand. One club, double pass. Now, you might be thinking, well, I'll just bid one diamond here because that's my longest suit. But look at this from North's point of view. North made you bid. So if, if I bid one diamond here, as far as North is concerned, I might have zero points. And North might choose to pass and we will be stuck on one diamond. I don't want to be in one diamond because... Let's do the maths here. If North's got 12 points and I've got 13, that gives us 25 points between the two hands. So we've probably got enough to gain. I've got a club stopper. I'm not worried about the spade suit because North's double showing support for the unbid suits. He'll have something in spades. So I'm just going to bid a nice simple three no trumps. You might think that's a bit brave, but you've got to be a bit brave and bridge and nothing bad's going to happen and if, if, you, if you're a little bit brave you can get a lot of rewards from um, from being brave okay West has led the six of clubs and we've got to decide how to play now what I like to do I think it's really helpful rather than try and think about how to play the whole hand just look at the suits one by one so we've got um, club lead so that's kind of good because that's going to guarantee we make two club tricks. Either my 10 is going to win or uh, if East plays the Queen or the King, I can win that with the Ace and then I've still got the Jack 10 left for another trick. So we're going to make one, we're going to make two club tricks. Uh, spades, well we've got the Ace King. Can you see a way where we might make another spade trick? Well, if East and West have got three each, can't show that on my three each. If East and West have got three each, we could play Ace of Spades, King of Spades, and another spade, and then they'd run out of spades, and that would make my last spade good. So that's one option. Uh, Ace King of Hearts. Well, we're just going to make two heart tricks, uh, and Ace Fourth of Diamonds opposite Queen Fourth. Ace Fourth just means I've got four card suit with the ace and queen fourth is four card suit with the queen so ace fourth opposite queen fourth there's some potential in the diamond suit here for a start if the diamond suit breaks three two that means east has got three and west has got two or east has got two and west has got three then if we keep playing diamonds eventually the opposition are going to run out and we're going to make an extra diamond trick simply because they've got none left. Also the queen of diamonds gives us an extra chance here to make a diamond trick, an extra diamond trick.
but we've got to be a bit careful. And I've looked at this suit, this ace and queen combination um, a little bit recently, and here's another example of it. Let me show you what I mean just by stripping out that diamond suit. Okay, now this is the spade suit, just because my display tool always shows the spades. But uh, in the example hand, this is the diamond suit, queen fourth opposite ace fourth. Now you might be thinking, well, I can take a finesse here by playing the queen and hoping that east has got the king. That's not going to work. We've seen this before, but I'm going to just repeat the idea. If we play the queen and west has got the king, then it's going to go queen um, three, say, we'll play the two and west will play the king. That's no good. So we lose. Now you're saying, yeah, well, you gave west the king. What if you give east the king? Well, that's not going to work either, because if east has got the king, queen, east is not going to play a small card there. East is going to play the queen, uh, play the king on our queen, forcing us to use the ace. East is going to cover an honor with an honor, cover the queen with the king, forcing us to use the ace. So our queen's gone anyway. So. That's no good. Hoping that East has got the king is not going to work. We have to hope West has got the king. And I'll give West, say, for example, king 7-3. And we'll, and we'll give East jack 2. I don't know exactly what the combination is, but something like this. This is what we're hoping for. So uh, I'm going to play the 2. And if West plays the king, I can play the 4. And if West plays the three, I can play the queen. So either way, sometime my queen's going to win. And yeah, you might, in, in fact, on this hand, you might choose to play the ace first just in case someone's got the singleton king. That's okay. Um, but the important thing here is low to the queen. All right, here we go. Back to the hand. Okay, club. And East plays the nine. Okay, so my ten wins. That's great. Kind of didn't matter. West was stuck anyway. If he led the king or the queen, I would have just won the ace, and then I still would have had a second club trick here. So I was always going to make two club tricks. Now, don't rush and take all these ace, king, spades, ace of hearts, king of hearts too quickly. We need to establish the extra tricks while we've still got stoppers in our side suits. So I'm going to play ace just in case East has got the singleton king. I don't think she has, especially because West opened the bidding. And now low diamond towards the queen. Okay, West has played low and I'm going to play the queen. And that wins. Now West did not make a mistake there. If West had played the king, then I would have just played low and my queen of diamonds would have made later anyway. So it's made. Now, I'm going to play another diamond because this, the opposition have only got one diamond left. So when I play this last diamond, West wins that king, but now the opposition have got no diamonds left. So I win that ace, and my last diamond is a winner. And now I don't want to do anything fancy here because if I lose the lead now... West has, is going to run that club suit. So I'm just going to take my ace of hearts, king of hearts, ace king of spades, and I'm happy to concede the rest to east and west. This didn't have to work out. I mean, I might have been three no trumps and gone down. It's cool. It's okay. It's going to happen sometimes. Uh, be brave, and you'll make it often enough that it's worthwhile. Good luck. Thanks for watching. See you next time.